Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Hey, so what I want to get into today is a situation that I went through. It was very interesting. It's dealing with the fact of if you want to call it karma or whatever. But um, doing something for somebody and, and ended up receiving something from that type of individual. So let me explain the situation. So today I'm driving... You know, I'm driving, I just got off the freeway, and my car stops. So my car stops, you know, uh, um, taking my woman to work, and it, and I'm like, you know, dang, you know, the car stops, you know, you freak out for a little bit, you know, so I'm trying to calm myself down, I'm good, so we're trying to push the car. Now, you know, I'm riding in the Caprice, and this car is huge, you know, so I'm trying to push this car uh, uh, in an upward angle, um over the freeway now as i'm pushing the car now let me go before i before i get to that story okay so as i'm driving on the side of the freeway from where i live right there's always homeless people so you know for me what i like to do is i like to give them change um and stuff and you know what i say to myself is that i never know i might be in a situation where i may need help so i should help somebody so as i'm helping these individuals out i'm giving them change by a freeway my car stops by a freeway not the same one but by a freeway now it's it's very interesting it's the turning lane that i'm usually always helping them in i'm usually giving some change or something like that so what happens is i'm trying to push my car and as as i'm telling people i'm waving people around me to go around no one is helping no one no one in the vehicle is helping to get out their car to help me push this boat <laughs> across the way now my girl's trying to uh trying to move the car as well and i'm like you know you know no just stay in the car she wants to get behind the car and push it i don't know what she's thinking but i'm like no no i got it you know she's like well let me put my foot out and push it so we're tr pushing this car across the way and a pt cruiser jumps right in front of us <laughs> as he sees us trying to push this car uh oh um over here to, to a safe destination doesn't try to help doesn't try to block off anybody but just tries to speed in front of us now this is very interesting when you've been sitting there and you see me behind the car trying to push the car so what ends up happening is i'm getting i'm pushing and i'm pushing as hard as we possibly can all i see is the individual on the side of me running running darting throws his stuff down gets behind my car and starts pushing it comes to find out this is a homeless man who's helping me push my car across the way at a free on the freeway and he just helped me did he ask for anything did he want anything no all he asked the only thing he asked was another homeless individual to make sure no one takes his stuff and he helped me he's the only person that decided to help me push the car and he's pushing as hard he sees i'm out of breath and everything and he just starts helping push it and i'm looking thinking about this like wow individuals who have more than this individual is giving less help than an individual who has nothing at all so it's very, it's very interesting that the concept of, uh, if you want to consider it karma, is factual. So you never know who you should be helping. You should try to help as many people as possible. Now, of course, I'm not saying let people take advantage of you. It's a completely different situation. But if you can offer assistance to anybody, you never know when you're going to need assistance. And it's very interesting. I always said that I never know. And this, this is the last change I possibly have. And I'm saying, you know, I never know when I might be in a situation to need help. And it's funny that the individuals that I was helping was the ones that came to my rescue <laughs> at this certain situation. Now, I made it back home. I'm perfectly fine. I've had individuals. I had other situations where at least I've always been in a situation where someone, I could call someone, get some advice, figure out some certain situation. So you might want to be careful who you talk crap about. And you might want to be careful who you don't help out because those are the individuals that might be the ones that help you. So it was a very interesting morning to start off my day. But you know what? I see it as a good thing. I'm alive. I'm breathing. I didn't get hit. You know what I'm saying? My car is in a safe situation, a safe position. I'm in a safe position. So what am I going to stress about? You know, there's always the bus. And there's always another option to buy a new car. And another form of transportation like a bike. So, and the best one is my legs. <laughs> so... I'm, I, you know, I think it's very interesting for people to understand that we need to pay attention to who we are dealing with 
And if they're a person in need, you never know. You might want to help them because you might end up as being a person that needs help. <laughs> so uh, thank you for listening, man. Uh, shout out to the homeless man, the only one who helped <laughs> helped in this situation. So I'm glad I can smile that I did something and, and I reap my reward, I guess, in this certain situation. So you know I'm be passing out chains. <laughs> me passing out chains like uh, dollars in the strip club, man, because I never know what possibly could help and to help me. So. I thank you for listening, and y'all stay good. Have a good one. Also, before I go, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's OpenThoughts.com. Uh, open, T-H-O-T-S.com. Um, I'm going I'm to make some more, some very funny videos, trying to do some. Watch out. I'm coming with books, whatever I possibly can to be creative and, and show individuals that you can do a lot of the things. Don't limit yourself. So, we thank you, and you have a good one.